Hey guys, today we are in Audi with uh, Audi MMI MIP2 based infotainment system and we are going to update the built-in maps. So the mine unit is over here and it's equipped with hard drive and the uh, maps are stored over here and we are going to update them. So first I'm going to check if there's a valid code for the maps. To do this I need to enter the red menu, press back and top left button for about 3 seconds and after uh, after short period of time you are in the hidden red engineering menu and right now we are going to system and to activation keys and we are looking for keys starting with 023 those are uh, keys for the um, maps so we have one key over here and another key over here both are legal so I believe we are good to go we can exit the menu with the same button combination for about five seconds keep them uh, keep those two buttons pressed and you should be back over here right now I'm going to check what uh, is the current version of maps that are installed in this unit so I'm going to enter menu setup MMI scroll down to version information and we can see that the maps are from 216, 2016 and all those countries are from the same year and over here on this SD card I have an update which I will um, put in over here to the SD1 port and hopefully we will be able to update those, those maps so right now I'm going to go back and select the system update option over here select SD1 wait a couple seconds and right now the system is checking content of the SD1 card it's check uh, it's checking what are the versions and if the um, if the update is valid so it will take some time let's just keep waiting I can tell you that I have the engine engine running because uh, this update will take about 30 minutes okay navigation 2022 so let's start the update update in the background make content uh, okay so do not remove the card and you can use the system normally right now the update is uh, is going I have the engine running because I know that this update procedure will take about 30 minutes and over here you have an indication that there are files copied copy it to the car right now and you can use the system normally but you can also enter once again the system update menu and you have the progress bar over here so we are at 1% right now and it will slowly slowly increase you can use the vehicle normally I believe you could even switch it off and this will go on in the background or it will pause and um, resume next time you turn on the vehicle so we are going to check how long it will actually take for the installation to be complete over here and keep in mind that if your car is equipped with keyless system if you have your ignition on and you leave your car with the key or you just open the door it may uh, it may turn off the ignition so make sure that the key stays in the vehicle okay so right now it's 14 10 so we will check how long it will take to update those maps and the update link is in the description below this video the same update package is used for audi seat skoda and volkswagen cars so don't be scared if you see a seat link or something like that if it's not designed for your system you will not be able to install it so don't worry about it and the installation is nearly done we are one percent off and it took close to 50 uh, 50 minutes so this is how long it takes i believe if you are using higher quality faster sd card this could take um, less time about 30 minutes and we are at 100 percent right now so i believe in uh, couple seconds we should see some kind of confirmation that the update was done and then we will confirm that the maps are actually working and the version was actually updated so let's give it a few more seconds and it looks like it's done so let's confirm it 
right now let's go to version information database is updated and all countries are in the updated state new maps for all countries so let's go to map to navigation right now just to confirm that the navigation is working and it looks okay to me okay so that's it for today thank you for, for watching in the description below this video you'll find a link to download this from audi volkswagen skoda or seat servers uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe for future ones see you soon